welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. Why is everyone so in love with me? Could it be my lips or my energy? I could count on my feeling one, two, three. Everybody is so in love with me. In today's video, yes, as you can tell by the title, I'm exposing myself, okay? I'm giving you the ultimate candle recipe for the most crazy, phenomenal hot throw. Yes, so if you stay to the end, I will share on the screen all of the details, all the secrets to my special sauce, okay? Before we get started, I get this question way too often not to share. There is an entire hub for all things candle making and candle business called shopbossvision.com. Yes, shopbossvision.com. Your business will prosper in 2024, okay, period. Here is everything you need to know about making and selling the candles, okay? The Ultimate Sales Survival Guide is gonna get you a business loan with bad credit. Yes, you, a business loan with bad credit. It's not one of those uh, get funding like scams. This is like how you actually do it, the steps to do it in terms of behind the scenes with your business plan, with your business email, your business phone, or all that good stuff is in this guy. It's $39.99 right now. You need to get that. And then if you want to bother me uh, <laughs> and steal all my insights, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yes, this comes up so often in my Instagram DMs like, help me, help me, help me. And I am helping you. One-on-one -on -one coaching slots are available from Tuesday to Saturday because you're going to be busy on Sunday and Monday. Well, Sunday, I clean it up Monday every start in my week. But yes, Tuesday through Saturday, got you. Motivational blog, if you want to get into that, uh, I sell my own products here. You can use the code YouTube for 20% off. Um, the True Love Bundle is really good right now. Or you can just sign up here and get 25% off. But the moral of the story is, while we are freaking here, is to let you know that everything you possibly could possibly need about candle making is right here on ShopBossVision.com, okay? Period. I definitely recommend getting the Ultimate Sales Survival Guide right now. This is typically one twenty five and it's thirty nine, or the candle maker survival guy. Y'all know this one is two hundred dollars and it's thirty nine right now. But yeah, back to the video. Period. All of the max off to my businesses. Okay, period. <laughs> Yeah, let's just jump right in. If you want to skip ahead to candle making, then just go to wherever you see on the screen here. But for now, if you're a beginner and you're watching this like a brand new candle maker, then I'd love to share with you all my entire supply list. The first thing you're going to need is a pouring pitcher. You can't really get far with candle making without a pouring pitcher. If you need something that's insulated, it is fireproof. It is heat resistant. So I recommend getting these off Amazon. And then I recommend starting out with the double burner method. Oftentimes you'll see people run into the scenario of wanting to just jump the gun and get a melter and make candles but you have to learn how to properly do your temperature first and if you're small batches there's no reason to go out and get a melter spend a hundred dollars when you could just get a pot and an eye like this which also leads me to my next point you need an eye like this the last thing you want to do is put wax on your can wax on your oven or your stove look at that you don't want to do that, okay? We don't want to do that. So yeah, I definitely recommend using an eye and uh, the double burner method. It'll put you in the right position. Put your best foot forward. You're gonna need a jar. If you're a brand new candle maker, then I recommend starting out with these Libby jars. I'll link these down below. I got them from a restaurant store. Um, I think candle size may carry them as well. You're also gonna need wig stickers. Super important, don't you get no hot glue gun. I said this in lots of my videos, I'm gonna say it again. Don't get a hot glue gun. You don't need a hot glue gun. It's so messy. It's such a waste of time. This girl told me to do that in 2020 and I'm still mad at her. It's four years ago, I'm still mad at her. Because I had a hot glue gun, I'm running out of hot glue. I'm trying to do this the best way possible. I'm realizing that it's a big mess with a hot glue gun and all the issues that you get from that. And then like, what if you have a candle that you want to reuse the jar? It is a pain in the neck to get hot glue out of there. So don't do that wick stickers it's going to stick if you adhere it properly and you sanitize your dry properly so it's completely dry definitely going to jump right into that you need some alcohol so i put my rubbing alcohol in a black spray bottle somebody asked me about the black spray bottle in my last video i'll link my spray bottle but y'all this is just rubbing alcohol i put rubbing alcohol in here because i like to romanticize my entire life so it's a nice spray bottle i love it because it just sprays out a mist like this 
You see the vibes, right? The vibes are immaculate with that. And then I have wicks. If you stay until the end, I'll share with you what wicks I use with these jars here. Um, and they're really easy to find, so that'll be great. And then I also have a thermometer. This I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, and this came up in one of my coachings. Um, if you want to sign up for coaching, the link is down below. But she was like, what thermometer do I get? She had a little bouncy one. I'm like, don't do that. Then she had the, like, digital like touchless wipe you don't need that you need to actually take this thermometer and put it into the wax so i want to be mindful of the fact that you don't want to put it at the bottom you don't want to put it at the top away from the wax you want to put it in directly in the field in the wax inside the moment the magic okay then you're gonna need a chip clip a lot of people use wick centering tools but honestly chip clips work just as effective they're plastic and you don't have to worry about your wick placement affecting where the wick centering tool goes because wick centering tools have an automatic placement that they put things and the best way to make sure your wick stands straight up is using a wick chip clip because it's it's universal it's custom to your jar so here like let's say for instance you put your wick i uh, like a a 0.2 centimeters off of where your wick centering thing is, it's gonna be crooked, it's gonna to be to the side because they had an estimate and your actual creation, it doesn't match it. So that's why I use chip clips. And yes, you're also going to need wax guys. So I gotta share that right now. The number one wax that I recommend for any candle maker, everyone I coach, everyone on my channel knows this, you need coconut apricot cream wax. Seta Serica. I definitely recommend Hive and Honey Seta Serica. It'll get you in the right direction and put you on the right track for candle making, okay? Period. You're gonna see my recipe in this video. And last but certainly not least, or next, you're going to need a metal spatula. This is super important. So I've never heard this in any other candle maker. Comment if you've seen any other candle makers with these, but I am the, I think I'm the guru, the, in, the initiator of this. But it's a metal baker's spatula. So bakers use this to, to put on icing on cakes and things like that. But I use it as a folding method for my candle wax. I've seen a girl use a plastic one. You don't want plastic. Plastic doesn't give, okay? You really want this metal one and it's getting a little wobbly. I've had it for about four years. But yeah, I definitely recommend grabbing one of these off of Amazon. It is not sharp, but you can chop your wax with it. That's another reason why I use it, to chop my wax. It sucks because it's like a soap cutter as well. And you fold in your wax instead of doing that stirring method. I hate to see people stir wax, fragrance and like that. It's like, oh, it's not gonna blend. It's not gonna be a good time. Next, you're going to need fragrance oil. For this video, we're going to be doing Cupid's Arrow from Hive and Honey. This is an amazing scent. It's really a dupe of Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. Comment below if when you were in middle school and high school, Love Spell used to be that scent. You were one of the boys that liked you and write you a love letter and stuff. You wore a Love Spell because then you sit beside you like, ooh, what's that smell? I ain't gonna smell it. Oh, my mom was classy. She wore white diamond. But See, you get to school, he smells something young and new, and he's like, well, I like that's young and new. And then he asks you for your number, or you know, back in the day, he'd be like, can I have your, what is it called? Your voodoo, voodoo, what is this not called voodoo? It was like a hoodoo, loodoo, that orange thing. Comment if y'all know what that was. It was like, where we used to chat in video on the computer, comment. But people will ask you for your app on that and then you can talk to them like that. But yeah, Cupid's Arrow today for our recipe. And if you stay until the end, you'll see the percentages, you'll see everything. But let's get right into it. First things first, we're going to, oh, oh my God, every time. I really thought I had it this time. But there was one last thing. I want to make it pretty for y'all. But y'all know what we do is a little messy. Um, here is the scale, okay? Period. Here's a Taylor scale. I only use the Taylor scale. Every other scale I've had trouble with. Seriously. Like you would think, oh, that sounds crazy. No, seriously. I would go to Target like back to back in two to three times a week just with the wrong scale. And then I would go on Amazon and get a scale. It wasn't working right. This is the only one that I found that was working right. Sometimes the scales won't give you the flu ounces that you need. Sometimes the scales will be inaccurate depictions. Like it'll be um, telling you the wrong number. Oh, and this girl struggled with this and my coaching, which I'm super glad I could share with you guys what we're doing right now. So right now, we're going to measure out our wax, but I want to be very clear. So y'all are closer now, you can see what I'm doing. So as you can see, here is my melter, or my, my scale and my 
pouring pitcher. Oh, also guys, I'm all over the place. You need some gloves. These are pink gloves that I got off Amazon. I'll link them down below for you. Super aesthetic if you want to do any kind of marketing stuff. Pink gloves are so much prettier than like blue. I remember one girl was like, you should use, she said use like brown gloves or something, but I'm, I'm a Barbie girl, the Barbie girl, so we use pink. Pink is the color. Blue is not another. <laughs> we don't talk about Krishan. Un, we cancel Krishan, okay? <laughs> but anyways, this is the scale, right? You put your pouring pitcher on it. Boom. What does it say? 16 fluid ounces. What are you supposed to do? Press the on button again. Okay? Always remember to press that on button one more again. Because, one more again. <laughs> so it could zero out. So it's a clean plate. And for this jar, this jar is technically a 14 ounce jar. But we're going to be doing the Talisha method. The 10% fragrance method. I'll get down here and talk to y'all like this. Um, but yeah, for the Talisha method, it's going to be very unique in regards to 10%. So I'll put this in, I'll put all the instructions on the screen here. But right now, I'm just going to chop up the wax. So I like to keep it at about one eighth of the way to the top of water. It doesn't matter what kind of water because it's just going to boil down. But you don't want to splash back. And then make it medium heat. Don't go too high. If you go too high with the heat, the main problem you're going to run into is that your house will be like beep, 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 fireman, fire for fireman. But um, yeah, here goes all the wax. And you just put it in there and you let it melt down. Okay, while that's melting down, I'm going to go ahead and sanitize my jar with alcohol and napkins. I always recommend saving your napkins if you order delivery food. It will come in handy. Add in my wick. So I'm doing a two wick candle. Controversial. Okay, I'm going to show you how I do it. I use the wicks that you'll hear about at the end of this video, but I put them firm. That's the goal. Firm wick adhesion, firm wick adhesion. And then the controversy is like, people will use a centering tool for this part, but I just eyeball it. You know, I just try to go close to each other. That's how I do it, that's how I do it. And it always comes out perfect for me. You know, just try to stay away from side walls. Don't go too close together. But then also, don't add your chip clip until after you pour the candle because if you add this chip clip right now then the pouring area is limited and then you're going to run up to a scenario where you get splash back and a problem you don't want a problem with zero problems here okay perfect okay while the wax is going which i was like i don't know like a month ago years old where i realized you don't really have to go up to high like my house is safe i don't have to open the doors the garage is closed everything's safe we're good um but i found this random thing in my house so now i'm gonna measure my fragrance Perfect. We actually used the whole thing. So I didn't really have to do that. I did it. Um, yeah, so now it's in here. Um, now, all we do is just. look at this okay so this is important part but i want to emphasize that we're not at the top we're not at the bottom we're in the middle we almost said oh we made it okay shut down the operation separate okay now we're in a situation where we're going to immediately add the fragrance we don't wait we don't wait it's no game it's very serious okay the reason why we immediately add the fragrance is because the molecules in coconut and crack cream are a little bit less dense than they are in soy so they are ready for the fragrance at 200 degrees. A lot of times you'll get sword wax and you'll be wondering like, why is it that I have to wait until 160 to add the fragrance or even add the fragrance at 180 and wait till 160 to pour? Why do I have to preheat my jars? Why everything? Why when it cures so fast it gets a sinkhole? It's the molecules. We play it with molecules, okay? So you wanna make sure you get a wax that's easier to use. But I stir. 
so um, I thought it was gonna, but I, I always forget how good things smell. I'm like, what? But it smells so freaking good, y'all. So I, I pour it immediately. I used to do two minutes of stirring coconut impact cream, but it's not necessary. Two minutes of stirring really is designed for like any soy blend wax or anything like that. But other than that, you can just go straight in. Oh my goodness. That's a good freaking fragrance. Okay, y'all. Now let's pour. At the part where we're just going to grab our chip clip here don't move your candles that's a secret if you move your candle it does affect um, the curing the cure well really for a soul boy but it was coconut wax is not a problem and as you can see here the wicks are perfectly standing up I'll check on you guys when it's completely cured in two days hi guys look at my legs uh, gym rat gym rat being that into that it has been, it has been two days. I tell you, it's a gangbusters hot throw. Do you remember the girl from 16, 17 used to say gangbusters hot throw? Hold throw on 20. Oh, it smells like that. I feel lucky that I even get to burn this. But we're gonna turn the wig back and take it up to my room because it's gonna burn overnight. Is that dangerous? Will we wake up and it's a fire flame? Fire, man, fire for fire, I got him. Okay, we're in my room. We're in my room. My, 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 turn the light on so you can really see that there's no sitting there that's just a shadow there's no sitting there okay that is literally just a shadow all right or there's like a very little bit of sitting but barely in comparison to what you would normally get I also have a Bath and Body Works candle going and as you can see it's brown and this one's not brown because the ingredients are not healthy and these are yeah i'm not wearing any makeup i literally just woke up um and yeah but y'all had to know this coconut apricot cream wax is the best wax 10 out of 10 recommend okay period it has changed my life and i think it'll help you all get a strong hot throw. i hear people getting 6006 or 464 leave that stuff alone leave the hurt leave the pain alone you deserve to sell candles okay so I definitely recommend the coconut apricot cream comment down below if you already use it or if you are going to be using it if you use my code with hive and honey you do get some money off i'll link it down below so